for a great way to build a relationship with your readers or find your following? If you like Facebook or you want to do any online advertising for your book or business, here's what you need to know about Facebook marketing for authors. Hey there, I'm Julie the Book Broad with Book Launchers, a fantastic company based in Los Angeles, California, that will help you write, polish, publish, and promote a fantastic nonfiction book to grow your brand and build your business. I'm talking about an amazing book you're gonna be proud to hand to anyone. So Facebook, first, what do you think of Facebook as an author? What's working? Tell me in the comments below. I want everyone to learn from each other on this one. Before we get into this, I have a confession. I have a love, not so love thing for Facebook. Kind of find it frustrating how they show almost none of your content on your author page or business page unless you pay. I get it, they're a business, but it's still frustrating. Right now, having groups makes more sense to me than having business or author pages. Now, despite my dislike of it, if you already like to use Facebook, it's 100% worth it for you to set up an author page on Facebook. Here's why. Your personal profile means you become friends with every fan. I don't know about you, but I post a ton of photos of my son on Facebook page that are really intended for the friends and family who aren't nearby, not book fans. But business reasons not to just use your profile page. Facebook has metrics for measuring ROI and understanding demographics on your author page. Facebook also has advertising and you can't set up an ad account without a business page. Page. And Facebook ad targeting capabilities are out of this world. You can target people really, really finitely. So if you have a very niche topic, you can target them on Facebook. There are also people who use Facebook like a search engine to find experts and people who do certain things. So for all those reasons, it's worth it. It's more about creating conversations than getting likes. So think about what might stir up a conversation and try that. Let me repeat that because it's hard for everyone to really accept. It's more about creating conversation than it is about getting likes. But you can still like my video. Because <laughs> see, it just makes people feel good when you like things, right? <laughs> but it really is about creating conversations. All right, so here's five ideas to help you take advantage of Facebook for your author marketing. Number one, go live. Facebook loves live video and will show your live to fans of your page and your personal page. Then when someone comments on the live show, they show that to the friends of the person commenting that they're watching and commenting on this live video. So if you do only one thing on your Facebook page, this is it. Have weekly Q&A hangouts with your fans. Pick a theme and go! Go! <laughs> or pick a section in your book to share and discuss, like hold a live book club. Idea number two, post mini blogs or longer content with no pictures. I often take the first section of the launch letter that goes out every two weeks and I post that to the book launcher's Facebook page. That gets better engagement than anything other than my lives. By the way, you should still subscribe to the launch letter. It comes out every two weeks and I put in awesome newsletter with insights, news that every author needs and tools and tips. You can get it and a free download at booklaunchers.com forward slash seven steps. Number three, Facebook will tell you when someone engaged with your page without liking the page. So then you can invite them. So why not send them a little invite? I find about 10 to 20% of the folks then like the page after I send them an invite. Here's what I'm talking about. Go to any post you want on your page, click the spot where it says how many people have liked your page. See, like this. You'll have a pop-up that prompts you to invite the people to like your page. Number four, use the add-ons to put a link to your lead magnet on your Facebook page. Don't know what I'm talking about? Check out this video series on building your email list for book marketing. Number five, if your book's not out yet, post behind the scenes of your book coming to life, where you're writing it, editing, book cover design. Get people excited about your book. Excited! If your book is already out, you can post things about your book and kindly, carefully tag select people around your book. Please don't tag 45 people just to get attention. But if you're genuinely thanking people, put a post out that says, hey, I worked with book launchers and tag book launchers and say how amazing we were. I would love it if you did that, if you worked with us. If not book launchers, that's too bad. But you can tag your editor, your proofreader, your cover designer, beta readers, book bloggers. Again, do this individually, so spread it out over time. It gives you a reason to post more often. It's also a kinder way to tag people. Also, you can 
post about restaurants and coffee shops or bookstores or anywhere else that's been significant to your book. Ultimately, Facebook can really help you connect and build a following amongst fans of your book or your business. I don't recommend it for every author, but there's good reasons to have a presence. And if it makes sense for you and you already like Facebook, then do it. Know an author that needs this information? Please share this video with them. Have them subscribe to the channel after you've done it so we can all be YouTube besties and you'll join the ranks with some really cool people like James Ranson, Solution Focused, Elegant Spicy, and I Am The Possible. We're all YouTube besties now, right? <laughs> Let me know what's working for you below. And if you like this video, you'll definitely like the one on social media for authors and why social media won't sell your books. Mm -hmm.